Hey loves, it's time the Infamous here, and today I'm doing this super beautiful summer kind of J-Lo glow look. I did pick up some new products at, at MAC for the summer, and I just absolutely love them. So this is what the look's going to look like. Very bronzy, very glowy skin, and I'm starting from scratch, so you're going to be able to see it from beginning to end. Um, I want to also say thank you to everyone who voted for me on my NYX Face Awards entry. And voting starts again tomorrow for our next challenge, which is 80s makeup retro look. So I will have that up for you guys. It will be on the NYXFaceAwards.com website for you guys to enter. You will have to register on their site, which is just like your name and email, so that they, um, so that there aren't any spammers voting. And you'll be able to vote every day up to three times a day. So I would love if you guys voted for me. And so let's just go ahead and get right into this. Okay, so to get started, one of our most important parts of this face is our sunscreen. Now this one is the Neutrogena Pure and Free Baby. I absolutely love this one. This is an SPF 60 plus. It's a very dry formula, so it's not going to be oily under your makeup. And it is completely unscented, since it's for baby. You can't smell the sunscreen, you cannot smell anything. But as I put it on, it is a pretty strong white tint because it is 60 plus, but that is okay even if you're a deeper complexion because right over that, what you're going to be applying is a tinted moisturizer. Now this is Max um, Studio Moisture Tint SPF 15. I absolutely love this. I just picked this up. I got this when I got my tan um, because I just kind of want something to be able to put on real quick, go out, not necessarily put on full coverage foundation. Now the one thing about this is it does oxidize so it does become a little darker than when you put it on but it's so sheer you do want to go a little deeper than with your normal color if you do kind of want that bronzy look. I actually um, am in the color dark so that's what you're seeing on my face right now so I applied the sunscreen first I've applied my tinted moisturizer and I applied both of those with my small dual fiber brush by MAC and now we're going to go right in with our foundation I'm using MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC 37 I'm going to put a little of that on the back of my hand and you guys please forgive me if you can hear the traffic outside like you know, I do live on a busy street. Hopefully, it's not picking up too bad. So what we're going to do next, we're going to spray our Fix Plus all over our face. And spray our brush. What we're creating are layers of moisture, layers of um, dewiness. So I'm just going to apply this all over in small circles. And I'm really buffing this into the skin. And you want to make sure you applied your sunscreen and your tinted moisturizer to your neck as well. Okay, now that that's on, your face is going to be very like moisturized, kind of a wet look. So we want to move on to brows and let that dry before we apply our powder. So since this is just kind of an everyday look, I'm just going to be using um, Charcoal Brown by MAC. It's a matte, kind of nice mid-tone brown. And I'm just going to fill in my brows. So fill your brows in as desired. Just like that. Now that we gave our foundation time to dry, we're going to take our powder brush. And this is MAC's 138 powder brush. It is tapered, so there is a point at the end. 
and you guys I just absolutely love this I am doing a small haul video for you guys you will be learning more about this but it is just absolutely awesome so now I'm just taking my Mac Studio Fix powder and I'm applying this to my face and I kind of start with blotting motions so that I can get that liquid set before I begin buffing out did this look I did do my brows and define them with foundation so I'm going to take just a dot of this just a dot and just put this right over my eyelids I'm not doing this to correct anything on my eyes I'm just doing this because this um, allows what we're going to be applying on our eyes to stick well but in a very natural way so now we're going to get to defining our face. Now this is the staple of the whole look. So I'm going to be using MAC Studio Fix in NW45 with this powder brush. And it's great because you can just use the tip to define. So I'm just kind of tilting my head and then see, you can see my natural shadow. So I'm just going to slightly tilt my head, just using the very tip of my brush and do equal motions back and forth like this and then kind of make a U shape on the cheek and then once we have our first line we're going to begin blending this out with a little more product on the brush and we're making large motions up and down and I'm putting quite a bit of this and then kind of smile and pull it onto your cheek. Then if you kind of lost that line, you can go back in and define that. So we're doing it just like that. See the difference? After we have all that buffed out, we're going to take a little more, tilt our head down, and we're going to apply that on the sides of our nose. Okay, see how that defines my nose? I'm going to be applying the, some of this right along my hairline just so that it looks like I've been in the sun, the natural sunlight has hit me in this area. So see how bronzy I am now? Next we're going to be highlighting our face. Now this is MAC's Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Whisper of Guilt. This is the lightest color. You can also use MAC Soft and Gentle Highlight or any highlight you have. So I'm just going back and forth with my brush and I'm just going to begin applying that right on my high points. And we really, really want to buff this product in. Truthfully, I like using a lot. Something like that. I'm going to take that right down my nose. And I'm going to make sure that's on kind of the underside of my nose as well. That gives you such a pretty feminine look. I'm going to put this on my cupid's bow. like so, and right on my chin. So now we're all defined and highlighted. Now we're going to use this absolutely gorgeous bronzer from MAC. This is the Iridescent Powder in Loose, and this is called Golden Bronze. This is absolutely my favorite bronzer. Now I'm going to take a little of that with my brush dip the tip in there kind of like this. I am going to 
um, get off the excess and I'm going to apply this right over this harsh line of bronzer in a very light motion. And this is also going to give you more of a golden um, sheen on your cheek. And truthfully, you do not need a lot. That's why I also like this stuff because it lasts so long. Now, with this, you do not want to put too much because you can look really, really, really unnaturally dark. So if you put too much, which I kind of put too much here, I'm just wiping my brush off on my Kleenex and then I'm going to go ahead and just buff that out a little more. Okay, so after that, we're going to take our blending brush. We're going to take our charcoal brown color again. Sorry, it's like all gone. We're taking just a little of that and now we're just going to give a little color to our eyes. I'm just going back and forth right on the lid and take that out and you can put as much as this as you want I don't like doing a lot because I want to look kind of as natural as possible that just gives a little bit of color to our eyes we're just going to be taking some of our bronzer and we're putting this on our inner corner. And I'm just going to kind of take a little on my finger and do the bottom. Just like that. And really that is all we're doing and that and that, now we're going to move on to lips and I'm taking a natural lip liner this is oak lip liner by Mac this is my absolute favorite and I'm going to just line my lips As you know, I've just been raving about this new lipstick I got from MAC. This is Happy Hibiscus. I absolutely love it. It is a sheen supreme, so it's going to be very moisturizing, very glossy. And I'm just going to be applying this right in the center. So now that we have our lipstick on, I'm going in with Max Oyster Girl. This is um, my, like, I can maybe say this is my favorite MAC lip gloss. It's a very baby pink, very completely frosted. It gives you the most gorgeous lips. So I'm just applying this. Now I'm not doing this everywhere. I'm strategically positioning this just to kind of give dimension. So I'm going to put it on the top of my lip line. like so and now I'm just dotting this right in the center next I'm just applying some very natural lashes these are the wispies from Sally's and you can also try the demi wispies those are absolutely beautiful I didn't do an eyeliner I just did mascara because these are just so beautiful and natural looking if you are able to get your lashes very close to the lash line these will look very natural you can also try the demi wispies they're the exact same style they're just smaller so at Sally's demi means smaller those are absolutely gorgeous as well So now that those are all on, we've completed our look. I'm not going to do any blush or anything like that. 
I want everything to be nice and bronzy. So this is what it looks like. This would be, this is going to be my summer face for this summer. Every summer it kind of changes, but this is what it is going to be. Um, I absolutely love this look. Please leave your comments below. And last thing we want to do is spray our face down with Fix Plus. This binds all of the products on our face to just make it look like one. So it's going to give us an absolutely beautiful, healthy sheen. So you guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.